welcome back to the channel and today a quick review for this this is the lone star ranger by zane gray part one of my um the June on the Range content, I suppose. I'm not doing a massive amount for June on the Range because I just ran out of time to kind of slide these into my TBR. But I'm going to read a couple of uh, Westerns, and this one was part of Roger's Cheap Old Book Club, so I had to get to this one, obviously. Now, this uh, was, you know, written quite a while ago now, 1914, this was um, first published, um, and it is a kind of by the numbers Western. Now, this was re uh, edited by the author for the publisher because originally it was a bit too kind of dark or violent. Um, and this, in that case, comes out in almost like two distinct parts. Um, it's almost like two kind of stories of this character here, uh, Buck Dwayne. Uh, he's not the smartest guy, um, but he is a well-mannered um, gent and he is a quiet but extremely fast on the draw um, kind of... He's an, he's an outlaw, um, but he has like a redemption arc across the two stories and they do come in those distinct kind of acts. Now... I found that the it took a little while to get going. This is not a short western necessarily. I think it was this one's three hundred twenty nine pages um, and about you know hundred thousand words something like that. So it's not long, but by western standards, there's a bit of room to breathe here. And it did take a little while to get going, though I believe the first act wrapped up quite well. The um, the conclusion to the act was was very decent. Um, I do believe the second part of this book is better than the first though. Um, despite the prose kind of stumbling and getting lost. I'm assuming that was the, the point where the, they were trying to bridge the gap between the two uh, elements of the book um, for the publisher. Um, so the prose gets a bit bogged down, it gets a bit simplistic moment to moment um, in the, the kind of the first, you know, 100 pages or so of part two. Uh, but then there is like a 100 page spell where it's just, it, it kicks off. Um, the, the prose recovers, uh, the action is there, um, the character work is much better and for 100 pages there i was thinking this is going to be a real real good book but unfortunately the ending is fumbled a little bit um it's kind of uh, a bit of an anti-climax kind of over before it starts um but in all you know this could have been a great uh great western read um, i think in the end it is a decent ride and i'd probably give this a 2.9 out of five 